Hello YouTube and welcome back. We got something on the bench today, although this came in for a different problem. We're going to investigate and see if we can tone down the little bit of a warm spot that this gets. So the initial problem, there was two things. The initial problem was the user, and I don't know where my little thing went, but he couldn't log in. And then Windows wasn't loading, it was taking forever. It like it literally wouldn't come up and it would come up all blank. There was two factors in that. One, this has a goofy keyboard setup that has a numlock key that half your letters were turned into numbers because there's no space for a number pad, which that was sorted. The other problem was that they had let tech support or you know fake tech support on here. So let's take a little bit closer of a look. We'll throw that back up. Uh, let's take a look at this and see if we can get rid of the little bit of a warm spot. I did pull the bottom off and screws out to save some time. And it's kind of something that I've talked about before on this channel. Wow. Okay. I didn't look yet. I just popped the bottom loose. But uh, we'll dive back into it. So let me uh, remove some, some of the problems. I think we can get away with that. So this computer is a few weeks old for this user. We don't need to unplug that, but just in case we go touching anything that we don't mean to, we'll pull the power from it. And let's take another look. Somebody else had already looked at this, somebody for the uh, in the person's family. And they're like, no, you need to take it to somebody else to sort these problems out. Somebody that knows what they're doing. Do I know what I'm doing? I don't know. But possibly I might have known more than the family. So it ended up here, long story short. So we're going to see if we can alleviate the little bit of a hot spot that this thing gets on the bottom. Or it, It's between warm and hot. It's no wonder. Uh, this is little more than a tablet or phone. So we have a silicon pad there and one on the CPU. I'm looking for... Something with an edge. It's got a tear in it or a crack. We're going to undoubtedly rip it further. Oh yeah, we've definitely ripped it. Okay, so there was our thermal interface to go from CPU to passive heat sink. And is that pulling enough heat off? I don't know. But that's going to be an ultralight mobile CPU. So we're going to pull that thermal pad off of there and get some... Uh, thermal paste and put on it. We're going to use AS5, although not the newest. I know it will stay in place. So let's put a, a blob of that on there. Way more than we actually need, but it will be okay. Ask anybody. It's, it's debatable if you really want to, but anybody knows that that is the perfect amount of thermal paste. We've established this many times over in the industry. So let's throw this back on and now we get to the bad part of this video. Um, if you only want to browse the internet or quite possibly play solitaire or I don't know what. Maybe watch YouTube videos, but don't don't plan on doing too much all at the same time. Go out and uh, get yourself a device like this. And what I mean by a device like this, uh, well, you're not going to upgrade your RAM. You are not going to upgrade your hard drive. It's basically an SOC or system on a chip. So it's little more than a cell phone or a tablet and definitely not built as uh, beefy as most cell phones or as, as well rounded with the hardware. I mean, we can just take a look right now. Right here is our Wi-Fi chip. That's our Bluetooth Wi-Fi chip right there under that piece of plastic. Take a look at that. 
right there. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. <laughs> Not putting a whole lot of stock into that. Did we plug? Let's plug our battery back in now. That we have all tools out and throw our bottom on. And, and, and look at that. So our heat that transfers to this will then be touching these little aluminum tape over foam pad pads, touching this other piece of copper tape that touches the bottom of this plastic housing and emitting heat passably that way. Okay, yeah, no, we're not. Let's snap this back together and get to the main point of this video. If you just want a computer to get online access or browse the web, you know, send some emails, check your email, this might be the machine for you, or something you want to tote around with you and not worry about messing up some big, fancy, expensive machine. So be it. This, this might be right up your alley. And when I, I have some other examples when I say machines like this, some perfect examples that I have in mind. I'm going to get these screws in so I can get out of here. And they're sitting, some of them are sitting right here next to me. And uh, all these machines have one thing in common, and that's not that they failed. It is the thing that they all share in common, and well, this one doesn't share it yet, but it may. Give it some time. The owners only had it for a few weeks. Ah. Uh, so it's a little early to a little early to tell still. Or they may they may fight the good fight with it and carry it as far as they can. Who knows? Alright, we got two more screws after this one and we can continue this video. Separate so I can put you where you go. Separate. <laughs> yes. Yes, very good. Okay. Thought my mic wasn't active. Okay, so here's our computer. It's got a little Intel cell run on it. Oh, that's somebody's name. All right, don't be pausing and calling the poor guy. I always forget when they tape these labels to them. It's a getaway, or uh, what are they called? Gateway. So this this computer doesn't share the same thing in common yet, but I wanna I wanna draw your attention to some things. Here is another such computer. Okay, it, it actually has power in it. Here is another such computer, uh, no power. And here's here's an even nicer feature of this computer, if you will. It's got a keyboard, and it converts itself to a tablet. I mean, let's flip over there. How cool! How cool is that? You can have a tablet, or you can take and dock it back into a laptop. Now those computers. And all of these, including this, and this. This got broken, but it got broken for good purpose because it was just what the person needed to be clued into. Yeah. Here, here's another one of those ever popular convertibles. And yet again, we have. I don't think, yeah, I don't have a keyboard here, but this had a keyboard. This one had a keyboard. And I believe this one here might have had a keyboard too. But all these computers share the same thing in common, okay? They all share one very important factor. Some of them are broken, yes, but the important thing that they share 
is that the owners gave up on them when they were working, while they were working, and especially when they got broken. Because they're not very useful. Most of them have 32 gigabytes of room. I think all of them in this stack have 32 gigs of room. This may have 64 or more. I didn't look at how much room was in this system when I did it. You know, I don't want to mix his in with the pile. But look at that. And this is just a small stack. I have a mountain of these devices in my storage room that the owners gave up on them to go buy an actual computer. So please, whatever you do, you know, if you have to use Apple, okay. If you have to use another brand with your own logo on it, Flowboat Studios, we do lots of stuff here. This is a computer. This, uh, some would argue that it's not a computer or not useful. This is definitely a computer. Okay? Don't confuse these types of devices with actual laptops and notebooks. These are little more than useful for browsing the web. You can multitask and do a lot of stuff on these computers that I have sitting off to the side, okay? These, you're gonna do one or two tasks and it's gonna be, you're gonna be using at least 50% of your CPU. And you open up too many tabs, you're really gonna be in for it. So yeah, please don't, don't confuse these cut corner, wanna be whatever they are, tablets, convertibles, Guys, gals, Googles, Tubers, YouTube, whoever you are out there, don't confuse this or don't confuse these with these, okay? I guess that's the message I wanted to get across that and hopefully we can alleviate the warm spot on the bottom by using actual thermal paste instead of the silicone thermal pad there. I, I don't even know what that would honestly do, but the thermal paste should work better. This owner will be happy to get his device back, but really, honestly, who knows for how long is this going to be useful? Is it destined to join the stack of reusable for a short time devices over there, or is this going to be placed in the stack of we can get the job done for many years devices who knows you be the judge anyhow thank you so much for coming over checking out the video clicking the link interacting um psa like i said there's very little you can do to upgrade these keep that in mind when you're getting these smaller form factor devices especially the convertibles that are a little more than a tablet please don't confuse them with an actual notebook laptop or an ultra book that has some power behind it and especially don't confuse one of these with a gaming computer you know not everybody's tech savvy and into the industry you may not be but hey i'm gonna leave it there thank you so so much much love for clicking those links coming or hang out and dealing with that thing right there much love for listening about all this stuff and he almost unplugged his mic right there i think uh it's gonna focus All right, it brought it back. <laughs> Thank you, people. We'll, uh, we'll see you soon. I'm going to click upload this, and you'll have it in real time. I'm working on a new video intro, or rather modifying the old one. So uh, hopefully we'll see that soon. There's a lot with printing and, and making, making stickers and shirts. There's a lot that goes on with it, along with still trying to create your own work in the repair industry. But uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. As always, much appreciated.